This week in art, we are talking about texture. Texture in art can be implied. That means that it's not real texture, but looks like it. Or it could be tactile, which is something you will feel. And that is going to be our project this week. I would like you to find yourself a piece of styrofoam tray, something that more than likely you will be throwing away. And we're gonna use this today. You will need a squirt bottle with some water. If you do not have that, that's fine. You could just dip your paper into water, but let it dry a little bit. You'll need some markers, scissors, and something pointy to um, make your lines, okay? We're gonna carve into the styrofoam. I'm using a paintbrush. I'm using this side of the paintbrush. You could also use a pencil or a pen. That will work too. Okay, so this is how it's going to work. Um, you are going to, because it's Valentine's Day this week, I decided I'm going to do a heart. If you would like to do a different shape, that is fine. That's going to be your decision. Um, so I'll show you how I'm going to do it if I do a heart. So I could draw my heart this way, or I could also draw it that way. So depending on, do I want a nice, long, and narrow heart, or do I want a wide one? I like the wide one, so let's just do that. So I'm going to start right here in the middle. Actually, you know what? If you don't know how to make a heart, the best way to do it is to draw or write the letter V and then find the middle right here. And you're going to do a bump from that little point to this line and another bump on this side. That is the best way to make a heart if you do not know how to make a heart. If you know how, just do it the way you want. Okay, so from this heart now I'm going to cut it out. So you need to take a pair of scissors and just cut on your line. Sometimes it's hard to put our scissors through. See how it got stuck right there? So just kind of like break it off a little bit, okay? Now it's going to be a little bit easier to put my scissors in there. Break it off as I go. If you need help with this, especially if you're in kindergarten or first grade, you can always ask your parents to do this part for you, okay? That may be a little bit easier for you. Okay, here's my heart. Now I'm gonna put all of this in the trash and I'm going to add some details on here. You can do whatever kind of texture you want, okay? And you're carving it. So you could decide to make lines, to make polka dots, the really like, it's up to you the way you do it. So I'm going to do some fancy lines over here. Maybe over here I could have a heart, maybe some more lines on this side, maybe some polka dots around here. Okay, uh, maybe on this side here, I could do like an outline of my heart. and then some little lines coming out. You wanna press really hard, but not so hard that you make a hole. So don't make a hole, but you gotta be able to feel it with your finger. That's why it's tactile. Okay, and then maybe over here on this side, I could have another heart. Okay, and then maybe more polka dots. Okay, so I am done with my little carving, okay? So once you're done with your carving, you should be able to feel it with your finger. This is where you're going to take your piece of paper and you're going to squirt it with your water. Just a little bit. Okay, once you squirt it, you wanna leave it alone and then we're going to use our markers and color our heart. I'm going to use all kinds of colors for this, okay? So I could decide to do some kind of a rainbow on this side. And that way, that will give you an idea of what works well and what does not work well by seeing me doing this. Okay, so let's say maybe here, this is going to be all purple. And 
and maybe my heart could be pink. Okay, I gotta decide another color for around here. So let's do, let's continue with the blue. Okay, now that I'm done with my heart, I'm going to place my wet piece of paper right on top. Now I can see, I'm not sure if you can see in the camera, but there's some little dots that are like still really, really wet. So I'm just gonna kind of wipe them off, okay? Just a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna take my paper. This is the wet side. I'm gonna put it on top of my heart and I'm going to rub it. So we're doing a transfer, okay? So this is actually printmaking. There's all kinds of ways of doing printmaking. This is an easy way that you could do at home with what you have. There we go. Okay, now let's lift it up and see our heart. Wow, that turned out pretty cool, didn't it? So if you want to, you can either continue, add more colors, and then you can make another one right next to it. Or you could just change it all up and do all the same. Look, I can decide to do all of the same color. Now, because I didn't wash my heart, some of the colors are gonna mix a little bit. It may not be all bright red, okay? Here we go. Now I have to figure out when I'm placing my paper where it's gonna go. So I'm gonna place it this way and I'm gonna come right next to it and I'm going to rub. Ooh, I think I overlapped a little bit. We'll see what happens. Okay, rub, 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 rub real good. Now the paper I use is like a drawing paper that's a little bit thicker than photocopy paper, but photocopy paper works too. Wow, look at that. Wow, look how cool that turned out when it overlapped. So this is our artwork for this week. You guys have fun with this experiment. You could turn these into cards if you want to, or you could just leave it as a piece of art. Make plenty, maybe even with your scraps, you can make some smaller ones and add them on and see what happens. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed this cool printmaking texture project. I will see you next week.